across the district, we are doing the Power Up Movement, where we are giving our students laptops. And with that increased access to the digital world, we want to make sure that our kids are safe and know how to be good digital citizens. And our seniors are going to be training the 9th to the 11th graders. Do you understand your three points yeah, yeah. enough to explain to somebody else? They were actually run through the training themselves. And as they were doing it, in addition to becoming trained and learning about the material, they were figuring out how to facilitate the activity. Y'all can do a skit, a rap, or just a simple pre presentation, whatever you would like to do. And y'all have 10 minutes starting now. They're actually getting it from a perspective of a student. And even more, it's from a facilitator from their own advisory. So it's someone who they actually listen to. They won't tune out the student because they're so connected to them. So they're actually going to pay attention and take account what they say. We look up to our facilitators and we think that they're a really, really good example. So we would want to be more like them to become a better individual ourselves. And so when it's a peer teaching another peer, they're able to look up to somebody that's closer to their age, and then they're getting valuable information that will really change their futures. I learned that I have to be mindful and be, know what I'm posting and make sure it's safe and appropriate. More than one third of US teens say they have been cyberbullied or know someone who has. So as we move forward with the 21st century, we really want to make sure that we're preparing our students to be 21st century learners as well as 21st century citizens. It would ruin our reputation and it would really ruin our future. Imagine what college or what job can we get if they find, oh, this person put this on this social media.